come to you. Go, 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 go. Is God talking to you? But when you bring in human ideology, you say, I know I'm not going. You think it in this way and the other way. No, 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 no. There's nothing I will gain from it. He or she may insult me. It occurs in relationship. Between you and your partner, maybe as a husband and wife, you are quarreling. Somebody is trying to be the first that will bring that peace between the, that man and the woman. You want to go. In you, this is my husband. This is my wife. We don't need to be in an enmity. We need to reconcile and face our marriage. The spirit of establishment in family is speaking to you. And that is the spirit of God. But you will reject it. No, no, no. He offended me. She offended me. I'm not the one that's supposed to apologize. Let him come and apologize first. Let her come and apologize first. God has spoken to you. He said you should make move. Pick that courage. Make move. Go and make peace in your home. Go and establish your home with love, with peace. But you refuse. You say, I cannot do it. There are things you're supposed to do. But when you look at yourself, you say, if I do it, it's not going to work out. It's not going to work for me. Those good thoughts, those that sound thoughts on how to make it in life will come up into you. You say, no, I, let me just be waiting. What are you waiting for? Who are you waiting for? You will do it by yourself. God has sent you to do it. He said you should live your old life. Live that arrogant life. Live that life of weakness. Live that life in you and make a new change so that you will have establishments. You say to yourself, I know. It's not, I don't know how to start. I don't know how to begin. I don't know how to run this business. But you have the experience in you. You have the idea in you. You have the thought in you. Instead of you to stand up and start making out something. You say, no, 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 no. I cannot do it. Listen, if you fold your hands, if you fold your hands, and be waiting, thinking, when will I, when will I, when will I, you cannot have establishment, you will never establish anything, you cannot, you will never, but if you pick the courage in you, that courage is faith, somebody say faith, is faith the spirit of God, that is ministering to you, waking you up, go and do it, you have that thought, it will come into your brain, you reason and reason and reason, you drop it, you reason and reason, you drop it. The experiences you have years ago, you, you tell yourself that they are of no use. No, no knowledge is a waste. Every experience you have undergone, you have passed through, has something to do in your life as a man, as a woman. So in a time like this, when it comes into your mind, God is speaking to you. He said that you should make some move. Be courage. Make some move. Use that experience. Start with something. Whether it is very, very small. Whether it is too low. It is too common. When people see you doing it, they will neglect you. It doesn't matter. God say that you should move. Make movement. Don't stand still. Make some movement. Pick courage and begin with something. As you are doing it, you will see your life establishing things. You will have establishments. Abraham was 75 years old when the Lord spoke to him live your old life he was 75 years old you know your age doesn't matter in the blessings of the Lord is somebody hearing me your age doesn't matter in the blessings of the living God do not look at yourself that you are aging. I am old. I've not married. I am old. A man married at the age of 60. I know him, a relative. When you are discussing with him, he will tell you that at my age, I don't have any, any other thing to offer to my kids. 
at my age, I don't have any, any other thing to do. Who will employ me? What can I do so, to survive? I know that my time has passed. Brother, sister, your time has not passed. Do not lose hope because of your age. Ladies of 50 would ask you, when will I marry again? When will I have my own children? I cannot see my flowers again. When will I marry? When will I do this? When will I do that? That woman with the bleeding of blood said to herself, if I make move, something is going to happen. And she made move and touched the hem of our Lord Jesus Christ. And the disease is stopped. Disease stopped immediately. So what are you waiting for? It is you that make that movement. Make move. Don't waste time. Just do it. If you say that you are 50, that you have not married, that you cannot conceive again, how old was Sarah when she conceived? How old was Hannah when she conceived? How old was Elizabeth when she conceived? They were old women in our eyes, in the eyes of men. But God doesn't count age as we count. He doesn't do that. What you owe God is to be faithful to God. If you're faithful to God, you know that the word of God is always telling you to be hardworking and be industrious. So if you are faithful to God, you would like to take direction from God. And what is that direction? That direction is that you should stand still. I mean, you should make some move. Make move. Don't fold your hands. Do not look at your age that your mates are, not more build, are no more building houses. That you are 17, you are 18, you are this, you are, you are that. Do not think of that. If you can know whom God is towards you, if you know how to start again, if you can begin to make some movement, you can achieve what you couldn't achieve at the young age. You can achieve it. You will achieve everything that you couldn't achieve because you have a longer years to stay in the world. You know, when you look at yourself, I'm 50, I'm 60, how old, uh, how, uh, how many years does it remain that I will stay in this world? Within two, three years, I will die. My mother died at the age of 65. My father died at the age of 55. Now, I am 50. I am 60. When will I make it? No, 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 you are too wrong. You are wrong. You are wrong. Do not count those ages of yours. Count the blessings of the living God in your life. What God is telling you to go and try and do, they are the blessings of God in your life. If you can make move and pick courage at your age, when you others feel that there is no hope, you can still make it. You will achieve your goals in the due time. Abraham was old. When God started ministering to him, now God is ministering to you. I don't know what your age is, but God is ministering to you right now. Do not look at that age. Focus on the blessings of the Lord that will give you establishments in this world. Start now. It's not too late. What you couldn't achieve yesterday, I'm telling you as I'm speaking to you the word of God. You can achieve it today. Because when it rains into you, when it comes into your mind, this is what I'm supposed to do. I wake up, I'll make move. You have started and your achievement is coming. Your establishment is coming. I'm telling you people of God, do not mind that you don't have this, you don't have what it takes. You have everything it, it takes. God said, I made you in my own image. You are like God. You look like God. You resemble him. What God 
can do is what you can equally do because the spirit of God is in you. So do not count. I cannot do this because of this, because of that. Nobody is there to help you, but the spirit of God is here to help you right now. The word is the spirit of God. I'm marshalling it into your life. Can somebody absorb it? Can somebody receive it? Make use of the word of God. The spirit is guiding you. The spirit is leading you. You are moving. You are making it. You reach to your and you will reach where you are expecting. You must reach there. You will make investments. You have establishment. You will establish family. Children will come into your womb. Male and female children. God will give you male and female children. You will establish a home. You will establish a business. You can establish an organization. As a minister of God, I'm telling you that you can establish church of Christ. You can establish church of God. The things you have in you, they are equal. I mean, they are okay for you to do this because God has called you according to your calling. He has given you those gifts for you to make a church for him. You can do this. Do not say I cannot do it. You can do it. Make some move. Move and make it. You can make it. The blessings of God in your life. No man, no woman will take it away from you. God said to Abraham, I will bless those that bless you. Say so any man or any woman that will recognize this blessing of God shall also be blessed. As so as God is making you to move, move and make success. People that will come to you will enjoy your success. Your family will enjoy your success. Your beloved ones will enjoy your success. So that evil man, that evil woman that will curse you, he shall be cursed. She shall be cursed. Any kingdom that will rise against your success shall be destroyed. Any altar that will come against you shall be destroyed. Any power that will stand against your success shall be destroyed. You can make it in this life. You can succeed in life. You will have establishment. You will lack nothing. Everything will become possible in your life. God will be with you. He will take care of your family. Your eyes will see your children. Your eyes will see your children, children. Your generation will call you Papa. Your generation will call you Mama. You will see people that will recognize you. People that will appreciate your work. Acknowledge your suffering. God will make it possible. People of God, you are blessed. Your family is blessed. Your handwork is blessed. You will have establishments. God will establish you in all areas of your life. In Jesus' name, I pray. Thank you, Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. We welcome our spiritual director in the bosom of the Most High. Celebrate Jesus.